Hi, I'm Mr. Peck, the Newton Daughters Lecturer Advisor. Hi everyone, I'm Wong Ziyuan, the leader of Newton's Daughters. Hi guys, my name is Nikitu Jiahui. Hello everyone, my name is Viviani Benjamin. Hello, my name is Grace Ling Yue An. The falling of a banana can be explained by Newton's law of motion, which relates an object motion to the forces acting on it. Our comic is about a group of girls going to a type of war competition, and they apply three of Newton's law. Well, what are they going to face during the journey to the destination? Will they win these competitions? Will they arrive at the college at the end? If you haven't read our comic before, please click the link above to read Newton's total comic. Next, we'll be explaining about three of Newton's laws in our comic. Mm, so sweet. Now, we are here to explain Newton's first law initial, the tendency to resist change in motion due to mass. Ouch! Initially, we are at stationary state and the car moves suddenly. We will move backward due to the tendency of inertia. Ayo! Same goes when the car stops suddenly, we lurch forward due to the tendency of inertia. Therefore, seat belt is critical to reduce the effect of inertia. Hello everyone, welcome to 2 of 4 Newton's daughter of years, Newton's brother. Newton's third law of motion states that whenever the first object exerts a force on the second object, the first object experiences a force equal in magnitude but opposite in direction to the force that it exerts. So, based on this, we can see that Newton's daughter and Newton's brother exert force but different in direction. The rope is the means to transfer forces. The first thing to do is the action force, causing the pull on the rope as the reaction force. The other team's rope end fills the pull. The game is going down to the wire. Both teams are trying harder to pull. Oh my god, oh my god, one younger brother is falling down. Hi, the London Bridge is falling down. And finally, Newton's daughter win the game. This have proven that when we apply action force on the rope, there is a reaction force, friction force. This is the second law of motion that's involved in our comic, which is force. The heavier an object is, the harder to move the objects. Here an example we can see. This is my object Nikki and baby dolls. Compared to size, we already can see through our eyes, right? <laughs> uh, let us prove our comics applied correct flows. I pushed two of these objects using the same of chair that have wheels. Oh my gosh, I need to apply many force to push Nikki. Uh, do you feel what I feel through my expressions? Next, how about these baby dolls? Oh, I just need to use my one finger to push it. The force smaller than just now. This proves that the more heavier an object, more force need to use. And hello, what have you learned from our comics? Okay, so what I have learned from the comic is about encouragement, which is uh, as a coach, Mr. Peck have support the Newton data by cheering for them in, this, in the competition. So I've learned that the moral values of responsibilities because I saw that they took the accountability of the environment by picking up the litter bags that were littered around and even encouraged the public to care for the environment. Oh, I've learned that the determination will always make us win because from what I just saw, the girls uh, work really hard to win the competition, even though their enemy uh, are the boys who are 100 times stronger than them. I think what I've learned from the comics is the importance of teamwork, because during the tug of war, when the Newton's artists were competing against the, the boys, they managed to pull through with the win despite going against the boys with their teamwork. And from your comics, I think that the Newton data uh, showcase hard work. Um, because before the competition, they practice regularly without any complaint. So hi, what do you think about our comics? I think it is really easy to comprehend and remember because the shows of words are really easy to understand and very relatable to me. I think after reading your comic, I find it very interesting because I just realized that in our daily lives, actually physics. For example, when we press a brake in a moving car, we will experience inertia, which is the Newton first law. Uh, I actually agree with him. Uh, upon reading your comic, I actually learned a lot of new things. Uh, for example, like in our daily life, when we are playing tug of war, we are actually experiencing action-reaction force, which is actually applying Newton's third law. Another example in your comic, which is when we are pushing different objects with different masses, we are actually applying Newton's second law. Uh, and I think your comic is very educational, especially for a weak student like me, and it's very easy to understand physics. For me, I would give 10 over 10, because honestly, the way you draw the comics and also you use the variety of color makes it more attractive. And I'm pretty sure it's not only adult and teenagers uh, will like this comic. Children also will like the comics since it's not boring, a lot of color, and yeah, it's beautiful for me. I think that it is actually very interesting, you know, because from the perspective of the main point of your central team, the title is A Day with Newtons, right? Yeah. So it is very much related to all the three Newtons law. Even the name group is Newtons Daughters. So when I read the comic, I think it's, it makes me feel very ironic because it makes me think that 
every day in our daily life, we use all of this Newton's law without even knowing. So yeah, I think it's very interesting because it's very much like related. Thank you, thank you.